Hey, I, uh, I thought I'm going to do something different. I got this iPad a couple years ago, and I'll have to say um, I was kind of afraid of it because it's new and I'm so used to all the products we have at school. But anyway, I thought I would do uh, at least show you something about um, this bonus problem for the quiz. I, I really like visuals, so a lot of problems. That's why I kind of miss seeing you guys in class. Um, I draw a lot of pictures, I make a lot of diagrams, because if, if I don't know how to do something, I just start small, or um, I make up an example or draw a picture, it, it always helps me. Um, right now I'm in my office, hey, at Rose, um, I mean that little sheet to do the problem, but uh, there's my office, I, I am cleaning too, in case you've never been in my office, you can see I have some really neat things, I think, uh, lots of dice and cards and... Um, really big set of cards actually I want to do something with that I got a lot of there's my queen over there uh, picture of the ocean I used to live right there in Virginia Beach my sister got me there's that clock there she got me that for Christmas oh there's my Six Sigma uh, black belt not in uh, not in karate so don't worry about that oh nasal spray having trouble I'm cleaning so yeah but look at all all oh, that fun stuff all oh, that nice cloth that rose anyway let's go back to the problem here we are um, the problem on the quiz was um, how many unique bracelets can you make if you had four green beads one pink bead and two blue beads and so I actually put them out right here and um, let me go ahead and make one bracelet for you. So um, I'll just, I can't study this very well, but um, you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make a bracelet. These paper clips represent my beads. Um, yeah, it's not the fanciest in the world, but, uh, but uh, there is one uh, bracelet right there. And actually, I think you can see my point um, here. The, the, the hard problem about this, besides being circular and, t and three colors, is that if you just rotate this, or not even rotate, but reflect this bracelet, you can see you would get the same bracelet in two cases here, because let me go ahead, um, let me just move, um, if you can see, if I move this one over slightly and this one, you can kind of see, I could split this in half, right? And so... If I reflected across that dotted line, um, I would have an identical bracelet, which it's not going to always work because what if I had if I had the the blue here, one of the blues here, and the yellow here, I mean, and the green there. Um, by reflecting, I'm not going to get the same picture again. But because you have a certain symmetry there, um, it's going to cut down on some of your choices just by a reflection, because you're talking about you know a bracelet, something you put on your hand, which you could put on. You know, um, again, if we're back to this again, this way, or if you flip it over, it's still the same bracelet. So, um, mostly I'm making this video just to try something new, but also um, just to encourage you to always draw pictures or, or actually visually see the situation. Sometimes that really helps figure out what method you're going to use. So, um, I hope this works. I don't know how to stop it yet, but um, I want to do more of these just to give... Um, just change it up a little bit. Okay, I'll probably talk to you later.